Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn about SAP HANA Application Lifecycle Management. You can use SAP HANA Application Lifecycle Management to support all the phases of lifecycle of SAP HANA Application Development. You can define application structure, perform transport and update management for applications. SAP HANA Application Lifecycle Manager supports various phases of application development. Some of the key roles are administrator, developer, execute transport. These roles can be assigned to a user by, by going to user profile and going to roles tab by clicking the plus sign and you can search particular roles for ALM. These roles are required to perform different tasks under HANA application lifecycle management. But how to access ALM? You can open SAP HANA ALM in two ways. One, through the URL given here. Second way is through SAP HANA cockpit. Now, in this slide, you can see SAP HANA ALM in SAP HANA cockpit. Let us go to SAP HANA demo system and see the different options associated with SAP HANA ALM process. Let's see how we can provide the access to the user for SAP HANA ALM. So first of all, we will discuss a bit about SAP HANA ALM. So my SAP HANA ALM is to support all the phases of my life cycle of SAP HANA application development, defining the application structure and to perform the transport and update management for applications. So SAP HANA ALM supports various phases of the application development, which are model, develop, transport, assemble and install. So first of all, let's discuss about the model. So this is to define the package structure, defining the package hierarchy and assigning the packages to the delivery units for application development. After that, we have the develop phase, which is to perform the application development in packages and to track the changes. Then we have transport. So this phase involves transporting the developed application and it can be done using the transporting products or the delivery units. After that, we have assemble and in assemble, the developed product and translation delivery units for assembling the add-on product. Then we have install. So this phase involves the installation of the products and the software components from SAP support portal. So in order to perform the SAP HANA ALM task, we should assign the specific roles to the users. So there are the various roles that are available in SAP HANA system to perform the SAP HANA ALM task. So let's see how we can assign these roles to the user. So we can expand the SAP HANA system. We'll go to the security, then the users, and let's open up any user here. So if we expand the user, after that, we have the granted roles option here. So if we click on this plus sign, and here, if we search for the sap.hana.access.lm. So it will show me all the different roles which are required for my lifecycle manager. So the first one, which is an important role, is the administrator. So this role is required to perform all read and write operations in SAP HANA application lifecycle management and to grant the access privilege to other users in SAP HANA ALM environment. After that, we have the developer. So my developer role, this is to perform the changes and to work on the change list and to add the objects to change the list from the development perspective. Then we have the execute transport. So this role is required to perform the specific transport operations but they can't perform the system register or maintain the system. They can't define the new transport routes and the delivery units or new packages in the repository. So these are the three major roles which are important for the ALM access. That is my administrator, developer and the execute transport. 
So these roles we can assign to the users either using the SAP HANA cockpit or we can use the SAP HANA Studio security tab to assign the roles to the user. So in this video we have seen what are the required roles for the SAP HANA ALM access and how we can assign them using SAP HANA Studio to the users. Thank you.